All right, welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we are game developers who play games. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not our our uh, opening tag, but yeah, hey, well, we're GDPG. It, we play it's games, better. talk game design. There you know, you you're technically not a game developer. You're That's... actually just our legal and marketing dude. Yeah. I, I was explaining that to one of our fans fans the other day, and he was like, "I would never have thought that Geekarius was the legal guy." <laughs> I I pegged him for one of the artists. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know, I should do. I should send you some of my pictures. Oh, please do. That I made, and you should just put them up, being like, "Here's Tony's game I, art." I could do that. I'm do totally that. scanning Dude, some totally shit do that. you and sending it your way. Look at that one. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and that one. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Dude, oh, oh and this God. one. Yeah, you should oh, write down a, a time so note for bad. me so yeah, I remember. I'm, I'm gonna write down a time note. <laughs> Here we go. So hey, we're playing. Wow, sorry for the bad introduction. <laughs> oh thanks. Um, oh sorry for that really well, terrible we, we haven't job. Haven't even introduced the game yet. We're so, playing Window Frame. We're, we're playing a game called Window Frame by Daniel Linson. And for anyone that's been a longtime fan of the show, knows that we are suckers for Daniel Linson. I personally like my indie nerd boner is so strong for him. Mm. Because he's he's so innovative with his games, like they're they're never generally like super complicated, right? But so they're they're very like interesting and unique. Like, what game have you ever seen that actually used the window, window frame, frame of like? Seriously, I can move this around. Like, this is this is the window frame of the game. Yeah. He's actually just changing the position on screen. It's awesome. So for those of us without a lot of knowledge, what other games has he made? So we. One of the first games we played on the show was Sandstorm, uh, which I still actually really like. Um, and it's basically you're lost in the desert and you need to like, well, you're not lost. You're actually on a, a journey, um, but you need to find like the right direction. And there's a lot of subtle hints to do so. Um, basically, we are a vampire hunter in this. Um, and where's our stake? We, we just picked up stakes. So basically oh. what we can do is we take the stake and we can actually drag Oh, what? The border of, of the window, and then pull our stakes back. But then there's a window inside the window. Yes. It's freaking me out, man. <laughs> it's freaking me out. Um, but yeah, that's Window Frame. And this this was actually a Game Jam entry. Really? This is a Game Jam game. Would you, would you know what the jam was about? Um, <laughs> Windows. <laughs> Ooh, oops. To be totally honest, I don't remember the theme of it. It was the latest Ludum Dare, which was... I think it was like Ludum Dare 35 or something. Uh, I'm terrible. I, I don't remember because I didn't participate in that one. Um, and my fellow Troll Games jammers, which is my troll, my, my game jam team, they, are, uh, they were mad at me. Oh, did they still uh, do one for it? Yeah, they did one. Actually, I really like. We should play their game on the show. You actually, it was it was actually really cool. I, I liked it a lot. Huh? Maybe uh, they don't need. It. Just kidding. <laughs> totally just. Uh, just kidding. But look at this. Okay, so we had these. I don't know if you you saw this, but we have these little like turret things. We're like, yeah. oh man, how are we ever gonna get past that? Wait a second. They can't shoot through the wall. Well. They can't shoot through the wall. I'm about to say, I'm like, Chris, they're still shooting through the wall. There's a ceiling. Oh, shit. See what I mean? Like, these, these games are ridiculous. Oh, he's got these little, like, crosshairs here to, like, give us a hint. Like, oh, you should probably do something with that. Oh, so it just tacks it in place. Yep. That's wild. Uh, or maybe I misread this. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I remember. Okay. So it's like, okay, you should pin this so that you can do this oh man oh how cool wall jumping for days wall jumping for days gonna show you my blade but isn't this game genius like Dude, this it really is i mean it's just <clears throat> it's taking something that we have in our everyday life and making a game out of it it's just like hey man Right? Uh, what would it be like if you played in a little tiny window the whole time? It's It blew my mind when I saw this, which is often my response to Daniel Linson games. But which is good, man. Which is good. It really is. It's nice to have that one like developer that you're just like, that's the guy. I've never, I've never gets been dis me excited. Right? Like I've never been disappointed. Even with his games that aren't as like innovative, I'm still like, this is still a fun game. Right? No, absolutely. Like, uh, absolutely. I don't know if we ever played Roguelite on this show but that you was know, a you guys have talked about it so much i feel like you might have have we i don't know 
I mean, we talk about roguelike games a lot. We just talk about everything a lot. It's just like... I mean, that's true, too. Hey, you're yeah, not doing, right. doing something wrong. Yeah, you, you've, you've just boxed... Whoop. Whoa. I wonder if I need to do, like... Nope. Well, you may bring the bottom screen up. You died. Oh, oh, oh. I don't need to do anything. Watch this. Watch this. This is this is, this is is another genius thing. Watch it. You're going to take those fireballs with you to break down the thing, aren't you? Shit. <laughs> hey, except for <laughs> <die>. <laughs> Dude, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Good job dying. That's what I do, man. That's what I'm best at, really. Anyone that's been watching this show knows. Nicely done. I don't even need to use my little, oh, look, my look, wall look, stakes. Look at you, wall. Oh, my God. Whoa. 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 Okay, so here I just need to, like, learn how to play the game. Play the game, yeah, exactly. Oh, dude, it's just so cool. I know, it's just right? So innovative, man. And, and obviously, like this game got a lot of attention on on sites like uh, Kill Screen, or I think it was Kill Screen anyway, or a couple of other like indie game sites. And it's like, you know, even though it's just a game jam game, like hell, who 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 thought of this? Well, I mean, we know who thought of it. Daniel isn't did. Yeah. Jeez, man, it's crazy. Dead div. I just don't know how, like, he, he so consistently thinks of interesting games. Is that it? Does it? Well, it's teaching us that now we have a new thing oh, to do. Oh, and I thought it was like a boss, and I was like, all right, boss. Oh, no. Well, it, it kind of is, right? Yeah, it, no, fair. It's, it's a vampire. The whole premise is that we're vampire hunters. Vampire hunters. And these little stakes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Cool. You don't want to fall in the spikes. You don't want to. You don't want to hit the bats either. You don't want to hit the bats. I don't want to hit the bats. You are right. Good. Good. So, so right. And as we play through the game, we actually start losing the spikes. So we go down to having like oh, one or two. That's cool. Which in a strange way is sort of a throwback to uh, one of, the, I think, the first game that introduced me to Daniel Linson, which was Javelin. And that was, he made that with the... Um, Oh. The Ludum Dare that had the theme of you only get one. Um, okay. And uh, basically it was a game where you have a javel or javelin and you only get one and you just have to keep using it throughout the game. Also, cool. this window freaking out is not his fault. I think it's because I'm running Windows 8 and I don't think this game runs very well on you Windows 8. Yeah, well, I keep this computer at 8 for my job. I'm going to keep you at 8. got to pump it up to 11, man. Dude, I'll pump you up to 11. Oh, you know how to. Yeah, dude. I'm already there. Oh, shit, dude. I'm not. Oh, man. I'm not. Oh, man. Oh, that. So this this what? is a more proper boss battle. So he's actually now controlling the window itself. See how it's slowly collapsing? Yeah. You may want to hurry. You want to hurry? Shit. Hey, you fail. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to bet it. Please don't make me talk about it at all. Whatever you get yours. you need. So yeah, I, I I really like his games. We yeah. we should play his games on the show more often. I don't know why we really stopped. I feel like the last one we played was The Sun and the Moon. Mm. And uh, that was... That was while I think we were still recording this show at Nathan's apartment. Uh, and oh wow. man, audio quality for that is bad. We've had a fan recently going back and... Uh, watching the videos? Watching watching some of our older yeah. playthroughs. And I'm like, oh no, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that you're, you're watching them, but we we changed a lot in the span of a year well this is it like a lot has updated and it's good we are moving um shameless plug time watch our show <laughs> i mean it's a silly plug because they're already watching the show do if they're not what if they're like sitting there you know what they're doing they're probably sitting there they got read it up and they're just <laughs> like yeah this, this is great i'm just gonna keep uh stop scrolling through reddit and just watch us. Jeez. Just watch us. It's very demanding of you. Fine. <laughs> we'll put a nice little please. Oh, okay. There, there you, you go. go. Got you a please on there, Chris. <laughs> so happy. Uh, I don't remember what I need to do here, actually. Hmm. Hmm. 
So uh, I wish I could you, just like grab this and ooh, well, there's. Have, that. have you seen some of those uh, commercials lately where it's like her VR apps on your phone and like the the, the VR glasses like thing, the, where she's like, "Oh, put your phone on your head." Oh yeah. And I'm like, what advertising person and what company is like, yeah. Put your phone on your head. That's what we want to tell people. It's the future. Just relax and it's the future. Put your phone on your head. Yeah, it's the future. It's, I'm sitting there. I'm like, but no, I don't. I don't like why. You gotta make it sound cooler than that. Be like, slide into our reality. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that also sounds kind of bad, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of sounds like they're playing the special episode. I I don't even know anymore, man. I don't know either. No, man, I actually don't remember how to get through this part. Well, yeah, look, you're going so okay. So so go back and make that like a little slim box again. Can you like make the make it slim and then widen out? Again? So that's that's the other thing. You cannot make it wide once. Um, like you can't. Extend it. You can only so recede it. Get it just it. far enough so you can touch both sides. Not like, you know. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, did I just help you figure out a piece? You did. Oh man. I I just would have thought that I'd have seen it. Uh, but, uh, guess not. Oh, yeah, no, no, okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man, yeah, yeah. I'm a professional. Oh, I was the professional. professional. You can call me Leon because I'm such a professional. Leon? For those of you movie buffs, I hope you get that. Is is this like a Ninja Turtles reference? No, man. Leon the Professional. It's a great movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Never even heard of Dude, that. Dude, uh, it's good. All right. I'll Just know. check it out. It's... <laughs> I, I can't even... Natalie yeah, Portman's in it. She's a little girl. Huh. Uh, Gary Oldman's in it. Huh. Dude, it's, it's good. Huh. It's good. You're good. Dude, baby, I know I'm fly. She dude. Oh god. I keep thinking it's supposed to keep like moving. Like that, like that the um, mm. the vertical ones are gonna keep following you. Oh, oh yeah. So I mean, I guess really like this is this is the game, right? Like yeah, that's absolutely. Well, basically, it. Yeah, I mean, I think we've given him a pretty good taste. Um, what what is our time? Is it time to end the episode? Twelve minutes. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll end it here. Um, but that that's window frame. I I yeah, highly in, encourage you guys to check it out because it's it's free, right? It's you know what's a little odd to me. I mean, I guess in theory is the reason why that bigger window is still there is because you can, in theory, grow out that big. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'm sure it's part of that, right? Like it kind of just like that's how the bounds of the there, game are sometimes defined. Sometimes it's not there. <laughs> I think it's I think it's generated whenever like the level needs it for whatever mm, reason. Um, I'm not totally sure though. I yeah yeah. That, that's the only thing that like that that I caught that caught my eye where I was mm -hmm. like, why is it still in there? Shouldn't it just be the little window frame? But outside of that, man, this game is awesome. great. I, I I really really like this it's idea. So, like it's so clever, ingenuity, man. Right window frame window frame so go check it out i think it's uh it's on itch io i believe it's on itch io is game jolt doing anything with it no. uh i know daniel linson has recently started putting a lot of his games on game jolt too so we'll we'll have a link to whatever yeah. places you can get window frame but check it out it's free so there's almost nothing stopping you yeah, from playing the rest of it you guys really enjoyed this playthrough and want to see more of this i'm sure we'll toss yeah actually for this or so we'll, we'll I don't know. What do you think would be better, playing more Window Frame or playing just more Daniel Linson games? Daniel Linson game. Yeah. Okay. So vote for more. Uh, click the this game window right now if you want us to play more Daniel Linson games because all of his games are beautiful. Absolutely. Um, and then otherwise, there's these other two games up yeah. here. And question of the day. Question of the day. Um, I guess we we can. I. What would you do with this game mechanic in mind? Um. Mm. Because obviously we, we kind of saw like it's both our field of view, but it's also like this we can push and pull the, the bounds of the window. Um, but we can kind of see like what some of the bosses are using the window mechanics for too. So whether it's a player mechanic or an enemy mechanic, how would you, what new mythic mechanics or challenges would you use that window mechanics system 
What, what, would, what, what would you introduce to it? I'm phrasing this really poorly. Yeah, but... we'll look cut it down. <laughs> well, it's like, what would you window mechanics? What would you Good window night. mechanics? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's everything. So vote, comment, we'll chat. Be cool. And if you like this playthrough and you're not already subscribed, please give yes. us a subscription because yes, we'd love you to keep watching our stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Pass along to your friends or your hated enemies. Oh, especially them. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode of whatever it is we play. The next playthrough. We'll see you. <laughs>